looking glasses perched on her nose. Sophie was a 15-year-old girl who had always been shy and quiet. She was content to observe the world around her, rather than actively participate in it. She had reddish hair that was the color of a dry leaf, black eyes that sparkled with intelligence, and white skin that was almost translucent. She wore a pair of thin, intelligent-looking glasses that perched on her nose, giving her an air of studiousness. Sophie's mother, on the other hand, was the complete opposite of her daughter. She was outgoing, talkative, and always on the go. She loved to socialize and made friends easily. She was constantly encouraging Sophie to be more like her, to speak up and be more outgoing. Sophie found this pressure from her mother to be overwhelming. She felt like she was being forced to be someone she wasn't. But one day, Sophie's mother had an accident that left her unable to speak for several weeks. Suddenly, Sophie found herself in the position of having to speak for both of them. At first, Sophie was terrified. She had never been comfortable speaking in front of others, and now she was being forced to do it every day. But as the days went on, she found that she was becoming more and more comfortable with speaking. She began to realize that she had a voice, and that it was important to use it. Sophie's mother was amazed at the transformation she saw in her daughter. She had always known that Sophie was intelligent and capable, but she had never seen her speak up like this before. She was proud of her daughter and grateful for the accident that had forced her to find her voice. Sophie, too, was grateful for the accident. It had given her the opportunity to discover a part of herself that she had never known existed. She had always been shy and quiet, but now she knew that she was capable of so much more. She had found her voice, and she was determined to use it.